Electric vehicles are revolutionizing the automobile industry as we speak. From two-wheelers to cars, and even buses to aircrafts, EVs are the inevitable future of transportation. By 2025, it is estimated that about 20% of all new cars sold worldwide will be electric. And by 2030, this number is expected to rise to 40%. Although they are taking over the market right now, there were times in history when EVs were the preferred mode of transportation, but lost out to conventional internal combustion engines, or IC engine cars, for their poor range and heightened costs. So let's take a step back and look at the evolution of the EV and how it came to be. Going back a few centuries, it all started in 1828 when Anjos Jedlink developed a small electric car with an electric motor. Even though his model was nothing like the EVs we have today, it definitely set the foundation for future innovations. Moving on to the 1830s, Thomas Davenport experimented with a DC electric motor and invented a locomotive to run on an electrified track. But it was not until later on in the decade that focus shifted to batteries, when Professor Sibrandus Strating of Groningen developed a small-scale electrical car operating on non-rechargeable batteries. In addition to this, Robert Davidson built an electric locomotive that worked on batteries. Only about 20 years later, in 1859, did rechargeable batteries come into play after the invention of the lead-acid battery by Gaston Plante. Picking up where Plante left off, Camille Foy improved battery capacity, which initiated the manufacturing of batteries on a larger scale. Towards the end of the 19th century, William Morrison developed a functional EV. During this period, many car manufacturers began dabbling in the field of EVs as it appealed to them for having overcome limitations of the IC engine car, like unpleasant sounds, smells, and vibrations, as well as the hand-cranking mechanism. It is these very limitations that drove the IC car to make strides in development. And this did not take long as the launch of the Model T by Henry Ford in the beginning of the 20th century brought the hype over EVs to a grinding halt. The mass production of these gasoline-powered cars outshined the EVs with increased ranges, easy availability of fuel, overall affordable pricing, and the introduction of an electrical starter that no longer needed manual hand cranking. As the ownership of EVs exponentially decreased, gasoline-powered cars reigned for the next 30 years. But all good things must come to an end. And this is exactly what happened in the 1970s when the oil crisis came in like a wrecking ball. Fuel costs rocketed and concerns about pollution filled the air. Although these concerns put the spotlight back on EVs, the gasoline-powered cars were so popular by then that it would take a good decade or two for the EV to emerge again. Fast forward a few years to the 1990s when GM released the EV1 and Toyota released the Prius. Nearly a decade later, Tesla released its Roadster in 2008, the first EV with the ability to travel greater than 320 kilometers on a single charge. And this is when the EV made a strong comeback. Car manufacturers started focusing on EVs more than ever, with releases like the Nissan Leaf and the Chevrolet Volt taking center stage. The rule of EVs was intensified by the plummeting cost of EV batteries by 50% in 2010. With EVs like the Tesla Model S in 2012 and Model 3 in 2017, EV sales continued to soar. Luxury car manufacturer Porsche released the Panamera SE Hybrid for 2013. In 2014, BMW released the BMW i3 and i8 in 2014. A few years later in 2018, Jaguar released the I-Pace. The increasing sales of EVs was clearly demonstrated in 2021 when the worldwide sales of the Tesla Model 3 crossed a whopping 1 million units. Now, if this isn't what you call in demand, I don't know what is. The development of EVs over time has led us to three different types now available in the market. The battery EV, the hybrid EV, and the plug-in hybrid EV. All of these run on varying extents of electricity. Battery EVs have rechargeable batteries and are solely powered by electricity. Since they do not emit greenhouse gases, they are not equipped with a tailpipe. On the other hand, 
Plug-in hybrid EVs run on electricity and gasoline and have the ability to shift between the two as needed. Within their mechanism is a battery to drive the electric motor and a fuel tank to fill gasoline and run an IC engine. So in the case that the battery runs out of charge, you can continue to drive on just fuel and vice versa. Similar to these, hybrid vehicles are also powered by gasoline and electricity. But unlike the plug-in hybrid EV, the battery cannot be charged directly. Instead, the battery gets charged through a mechanism called regenerative braking, as well as by the IC engine. In both plug-in hybrid EV and hybrid EV, the battery and IC engine work together to maximize performance, bring down fuel economy, and reduce CO2 emissions. And as you can see, the electric vehicle has been through quite a ride, but the ride is just getting started. So stay with us to find out more.